Well, we all know that February is the month of love, but did you also <laughs> know that it is Love a Bus Driver Month? Had no idea. My dad was a bus driver for almost 30 years, but now you learn something new every day. And according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there are more than 158,000 bus drivers in the United States, including these two sisters. News Channel 12's Nicole Ford talked with them about how and why they've been driving buses in Beaufort County for a combined 50 years. Two sisters. We get to see each other a lot. We enjoy each other. We love each other. One passion. Never know what you're going to get when they walk in that door in the mornings. Oh, Miss Reddick. Outside and inside the classroom, these two Chocowinity sisters are giving back to the schools that raised them. What started as a teaching assistant career for each has developed into much more for these sisters. The secretary came down. She said, I come to tell you right now. Here are the keys. You're going to drive this bus this afternoon. I'm going, what? 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 I don't even know where I'm going. Or to be up, be somebody up there old enough to tell you where you need to go. But I know. Yes, you be all right, girl. Go ahead. And it started from that point on. And I've been driving ever since. That was 1992, nearly 15 years after Wanda Reddick first started her career with Beaufort County Schools. Wanda's older sister, Julia German, says she has been driving a bus for longer than she could remember. How long have you been doing that? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. She even retired and came back to continue protecting her children. There's never been a day when I've hated to go to work. That's how rewarding it's been for me. As North Carolina's Love a Bus Driver Week wraps up, Miss Reddick says she doesn't need a week because she feels the love every day. I have one now. She never fails. She's a kindergartner. When she gets off, she runs up a little bit and she stops. She turns around. She say, goodbye, Miss Reddick. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. <laughs> and she does it every day with a smile. And those students that have come and gone still remember the impact these two sisters made on their lives. Some of them I have forgotten, but they have not forgotten. So it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling to know that you've done such a small part to make life better for parents. And from beginning to end, these two sisters will always share one passion. We love each other. And what better way to appreciate one another than through love? Reporting in Beaufort County, Nicole Ford for News Channel 12. Oh, beautiful story there. Some unsung heroes.